talk about a goldfish bowl. And the train's going by outside. I think you might even be able to hear that. What does a goldfish bowl have to teach us about life as humans? Our next guest, Catherine Galasso Vigarito, has devoted her life to helping people realize their dreams and live better. She's also a friend and a regular contributor to the show, so always happy to have you here, Catherine. You know that. Thank you. And so what's up with the goldfish here? They're, they're yeah. handling the heat well, right? They are, they are. Well, first, what I'm going to have you do, Jeff, yeah. is um, you can take one of the goldfish in the small bowl and you can uh, put it right in the big tank. So one? Um, you can take one or two, however. However many I might, might what, be willing to go. There but what is. we're going to learn with the goldfish here today and why life is like a fishbowl is because we're not going to settle for the ordinary. We are going to reach for the extraordinary. In other words, if you place a goldfish like we have here in a tiny fish bowl, it won't grow. Is that true? Really? That is exactly true. It won't Their, grow that big. That's correct. Their growth will be somewhat stunted in the small tank and they won't reach their full potential. But then, as you just did, you take a goldfish and you put it in a large tank or, or in your pond, perhaps, and it will grow to their full size and potential. And I think it's a wonderful life lesson. And, and we should do the same. We shouldn't stop. And not just a coincidental metaphor, right? Because isn't that sa same true for humans? And not just because in sort of some abstract way, but we actually change with our environment, right? We do change with our environment, absolutely. Put yourself in an environment of success and you'll be successful. Success breeds success. Thankfulness breeds thankfulness. Being around good people makes you feel uplifted, absolutely. And that part I think is true for anybody, but I guess for, for different strokes for different folks in terms of what really makes up some people like the city, some like the country, for example. So how do you know what really what your uh, environment of success is going to be individually? You have to follow your heart. Yeah. I mean, you really have to follow your heart and, and what you want to do in life. And you can't stop. You have to continue to grow as we see with our, our goldfish here. We have to continue to grow and strive. You know what? Quitting isn't who you are. Mm. It's not who I am. I've received hundreds of thousands of letters through the years, through my books and columns. Um, the people, they tell me, they don't quit. Mm. You just kind of need a little encouragement along the way. I know I do. <laughs> now, so, and, and, so, and I remember that Abraham Lincoln used to talk about that too. It was just that if you talk about the list of failures he had, and then he became mm -hmm. president and, mm -hmm. and did so much for our country, mm -hmm. uh, but if you list the failures, you'd think that if he had just said, well, I think he could have given up at any point. A Winston little. Churchill that said, uh, you know, I didn't lose my enthusiasm going from failure to failure. And we can't lose our enthusiasm for life. Okay. We have to keep growing. We have to keep going. We have to keep striving. So, you know what? Grow in your health. Vow to take a half hour walk at lunchtime. Grow in your good deeds. I always tell my girls, try to do three good deeds for people each day. Grow in your abilities. Learn something new, uh, you know, maybe this year. And, and, and that's part physical environment when you talk about, say, even just going for a walk. You might change your, because you're going out to places <laughs> that you don't every day, and doing things for other people, because you're sort of changing that's where it is a little bit more of an abstract change to your environment, but you're changing what you do around other people. Isn't that right? Well, yes. That's I mean, and you don't, you don't know who you're going to meet. Mm -hmm. You know, you might yeah, meet somebody true. and they could change the course of your life in an instant. You may, uh, you know, be at the right place at the right time. That's why you have to keep learning and keep growing and keep persisting. Your breakthrough can come today. <laughs> yeah, you never know. That is true. And it might not even reveal itself all at once, but that one person you meet in a moment might help you change your life over time. But let's talk about this too because this sometimes involves a paradigm shift in our own minds about the way we're going to live our lives or just the way we're going to live today anyway because it's one step at a time. Mm -hmm. Isn't change a bit scary though? Change could be scary but listen we wouldn't have the butterfly if we didn't have change. Yeah, that's correct? true. We just have a bunch of we just uh, caterpillars, have, right? And everything is always changing. So you just have to go with the flow. Now, tell me about nature versus nurture, too, because a lot of people feel like, well, they, it's, it's whatever is in their genes and in their, in their bloodstream. But a lot of it is nurture. A lot of it is what you are surrounded with and, mm -hmm. and how things are going. Or, as one of my favorite writers says, you can only grow the way the wind blows. But if you're on a different shore, if you're in a different place, then the wind might blow differently for you. So, granted, a tree can't change its location mm -hmm. necessarily, but we can. Mm -hmm. You can get yourself out of a bad environment. Mm -hmm. The choice is up to you. Yeah. You can choose to make your life anything that you want it 
to be. But here's the thing, and I don't mean to interrupt, mm -hmm. when I think of so many movies and so many stories, great mm -hmm. stories about, about rags to riches or at least to success, mm -hmm. we think of people trying to get out of a particular, maybe it's a bad neighborhood mm -hmm. or a bad city or just maybe mm -hmm. something that doesn't work for them and how some can't get out. How do the ones get out that do? Uh, it's all in your mind. You are what you believe you are. Just keep pushing. Your right? self-talk. Tell yourself that you're successful, that you're a good person, that you can achieve your dreams. Uh, surround yourself with good people. You only really need one or two to tell you that I believe in you, that you can accomplish, that you know, God has a great future for you. So don't stop, don't quit. Right. The most important thing is persistence. Catherine, we've got to wrap up, but thank you as well. And always, and uh, this guy's got a bigger, uh, bigger uh, condo to hang out in Big as future. well. <laughs> All right, and of course, and you are a columnist. Remind people where your uh, columns can be seen. Oh well, my column is in the New Haven Register every Saturday, and newspapers around the country. There you have it. All right, Catherine Galasso Bigarito, thank you so much. Thank you. Still